Once upon a time, these kinds of lids would have been the most up-to-date and state-of-the-art full-face helmets. I'm mainly talking about the 50s, 60s and 70s. A lot has changed throughout the years and things like protection and aerodynamics have been so drastically improved that we're being spoiled. We definitely are. If you're a fan of the classic helmet look but you do want a lid with modern day protection, then you're in luck because all of these helmets have just that. But in fact, they have something even more and that's what we'd love to show you. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. As I just mentioned, helmet manufacturers have been working for years and years to improve the level of protection, comfort and of course aerodynamics. Many developments that have come a long, long way. You're absolutely right about that, but all of these new improvements have also given helmets a very different shape and image. Today we're seeing a lot of spoilers and pointy shapes and of course a lot of flashy designs and graphics. Some bikers say that modern helmets are a little over the top and a bit futuristic. They want to go back to basic. In this video we'll take you through the current 5 best full face retro helmets, in other words, new helmets in an old jacket. XG100R is an absolute must-have if you ride a cafe racer or a classic sports bike. I honestly really like the crossover between classic and modern on this lid. The helmet has been kept ever so simple making it hard to tell from afar if this is actually a modern crash helmet or some old 70s lid you found in your shed. Yeah, this one is really round, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's not a single groove or spoiler on the top of this helmet. It's evenly all around. Yeah, 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 definitely. And um, is it aerodynamic at all? Well, you've hit the nail right on the head there. I don't think you should expect too much in the way of aerodynamics from this very simple lid. Riding in and outside of the city limits will be great, but it won't be a motorway helmet as such. Mm. You're going to need something else for that. The outer shell is made from a fiberglass, carbon fiber and aramid composite material, a very strong and modern combination. The weight of the helmet is relatively low at 1350 grams. It comes in two outer shell sizes, so it's pretty cool really. What do you think of the design? Yeah, I think it looks great. I love these types of helmets because it's really, yeah, it's very retro. And I also really do like the gold, oh, yeah. the golden touch with the the simple black design yeah yeah i love it it's it's really classic i think and very yeah. clean very clean yeah, yeah it's very minimalistic yeah. uh, luckily it has more than meets the eye it comes with a Rileri anti-fog lens which helps to prevent fogging up the visor it has a double d chin strap and an antibacterial inner lining which is completely removable and washable nice and proper yeah the fit of the helmet is fairly oval and i found it to be quite comfortable mm. um, the interior also feels really good and i think uh, considering the price it's really yeah it's it's okay because it starts at 329 329 that's yeah, right yeah. yeah so that's really okay for what you're gonna get when yeah. you buy this one <laughs> AGV has been a very active player in the sports world and MotoGP world for many years. For example, Valentino Rossi rides with their top-of-the-line helmet. They didn't just float to the top though, there's a lot of history that they're embracing and honouring with this beautiful X3000 helmet. The outer shell is made from carbon fibre and it comes in three different shell sizes. It weighs around 1300 grams in the smallest shell size and that's very light. Yeah, if you ask me, this helmet has an even cleaner look than the previous one. Yeah. The classic AGV Italian flag logo, I love it. But what is 
happening here at the front? <laughs> That's a good question. It seems to be a part missing of the chin bar. Well, that actually definitely belongs like that, and it's a quite a nice little story. In the 60s and 70s, there was a champion rider by the name of Agostini, and he won quite some competitions back in the day. He was actually obsessed with achieving the best possible aerodynamics, so he always laid flat on his tank. The only issue was that the chin bar of his helmet got in the way of his riding position, so he took the helmet to his shed and filed it down a bit. This was so recognisable and legendary that AGV decided to do the same thing with their new retro lid, as a sort of homage to Agostini. Okay, wow. Seriously, that's a great story. So that basically means that they based their new product on Agostini's do-it-yourself helmet. They did indeed, yeah. It's really quite unique. So cool. It definitely is. Must be quite an honor for the man himself. But anyway, back to the helmet. What else does it have that makes it stand out? Good question. Well, what you said about the clean look is absolutely true. There's hardly anything to see on this helmet in the way of options. You can't even see a ventilation inlet but it does have one. At the top of the visor, you can see this rubber strip and behind this rubber strip is a ventilation channel that runs through the helmet. All you have to do for cool air is to remove the little bit of rubber. The interior has a very luxurious leather finish. It's breathable and also removable. The helmet also features an anti-scratch outer visor with a classic metal locking system, very strong and very authentic. And of course, as this is a retro sports helmet, it has a double D chin strap. Yeah, I think it's a very classy looking helmet. Does this one have one of those anti-fog screens as well? It actually doesn't, but they are available for this helmet. The visor is not prepared for a pin lock lens, there are no pins in the shield, mm -hmm. but you can buy a visor that does have the preparation and get the pin lock separately. Sounds like there are enough options for the AGV X3000. The helmet's pricing starts around 380 for the basic white and black colors. The fit and shape of the helmet we can consider as oval. No. should be the one talking about this helmet really as you actually own it yourself. Would you do the others? Yeah, correct. You have a point, so uh, yeah, I will. Well, all of you, this is the Shoei Glamster, a completely new helmet in Shoei's collection. But like all of the helmets in this lineup, it has a very classic look, which I love. Mm -hmm. This helmet would fit perfectly on a cafe racer, a cruiser, chopper, custom bike, any classic looking bike really. The outer shell is handmade from multiple layers of fiberglass, aramid and carbon fiber. It comes in three different shell sizes and weighs the least of all helmets in this video, 1215 grams in the smallest shell size. That is really light. I actually, uh, I actually did a road test with this particular helmet and I found the weight to be one of the most surprising aspects. Honestly, I also thought that the aerodynamics were quite strong. This model is loosely based on the NXR line and it does show. Riding on the motorway at around 100 kilometers an hour is very doable with this lid. And I ride a naked bike. Yeah, the weight is a big plus for this helmet. But there are quite a few other surprising features like the ventilation. There are quite a few more inlets than on the first two helmets. Two openings at the front and one closable inlet on the top. The Glamster also has the possibility to be custom fitted to your head with the Shoei personal fitting system. You did that? Yep, I have to tell you, I also had mine fitted and you can definitely feel the difference straight away. The helmet was very comfortable to begin with, but this was improved upon which I did not expect because, yeah, well, it fits even better now. I can really recommend this when you uh, buy Shoei. Cool. Well, something I really uh, like about this helmet is that they make a point out of modern protection. For example, by adding the emergency quick release cheek pad system. This makes it much easier for paramedics to remove the cheek pads and thus remove the helmet from your head in the event of an accident. We don't hope you have one, but if you do, this comes in handy. 
The helmet also comes with a pinlock anti-fog lens, something that's often missing from retro lids, but it's very welcome indeed. Yeah, actually, to be honest with you, everything about this helmet is great. It weighs next to nothing. You're getting a five-year warranty period from Shui. You can get it custom fitted. The interior is easy to remove and it has a double D chin strap. The fit is intermediate oval and it's slightly roomier than the average Shui helmet. Yeah. The pricing for the Shui Glamster starts at 449 euros. Of all the helmets in this lineup, this one just might be the one that screams retro helmet the most. The Bell Bullet is a very recognisable classic with an extremely large visor and very good viewing angles. It wouldn't surprise me if other brands have looked to this lid for a little bit of inspiration. The outer shell comes in three different sizes and is made from rock solid fibreglass. And it's also actually possible to install a communication system in this helmet. Hey, that's the first time I heard you say that. What can you do with one of those? Well, there are many different types of communication systems with many different options and functions. It's ideal because you can link your phone to the system through Bluetooth, so you can listen to music or make calls, pretty much like with a car kit. And it's also possible to connect with other rider systems, so you can chat with them while you're riding and discuss which route you're going to take or what the weather's going to do. The ventilation inlets here are very stylish and I also find it very convenient that the visor flap has a magnet inside. Yeah, those details really do finish the helmet off. And speaking of pretty little details, this is the DLX version of the helmet, which stands for Deluxe. This helmet comes with a free dark smoke visor in the box, which is great because it means that you won't have to buy one separately. The ventilation openings that you speak of at the top and at the bottom uh, ensure that cool air flows through the helmet and hot air is removed at the back of the helmet under this small spoiler with the exhaust. Yeah, just like with the Shui Glamster, this helmet comes with a five-year factory warranty. The helmet weighs around 1500 grams in the smallest shell size, a little above average in this category. There's no pin lock with this helmet or for this helmet. The visor lacks on the preparation. The fit is intermediate oval and it's a tightly fitting model that's true to size. Of course, the inner lining is removable and washable so that you can always keep your helmet fresh and clean. Pricing starts at 500 euros and the full carbon version is also available for this helmet. Yep. The Arai Concept X features the typical Arai outer shell, the complex laminate shell. Handmade in Japan from a fiberglass composite material, this shell has to pass five different quality checks to end up on the shelf. Arai takes safety very seriously and do not compromise this for one second. The multi-density EPS inner shell ensures that the helmet can dampen a strong impact. The outer shell comes in three different sizes. We're seeing multiple ventilation inlets and outlets on this helmet. We're also seeing preparation for a communication system and a removable inner lining, which is ideal. This helmet looks and feels very solid, but I must say I do find the design to be a bit more aggressive compared to the other helmets. That's probably due to the large grill at the front and the visor mechanism covers here at the sides. Yeah, I have, to, I have to agree with you on that. It does look more aggressive, but I don't think that it looks out of place. And the visor you speak of is actually the so-called VAS visor, which is exactly the same one that RI use on their absolute top model, the RX7V. It's ideal that there are two vents at the top of the visor, which you can open, and you will definitely notice it straight away when these are open. 
Yeah, this helmet is a little bit more expensive than the others, but apart from that, you can't really knock it. Uh, it has an extremely strong outer shell, great ventilation, and the emergency quick-release cheek pads, just like on the Shoei helmet. Yep, that's true. And, and to be honest, there aren't many flaws to mention at all. It weighs around the same as the Bell Bullet at 1500 grams in the smallest shell size, a little above average, but not uncomfortable. And I actually did a road test with this helmet, I don't know if you knew that, but you won't really notice this weight until you're moving at low speed or not moving at all. The fit was alright for me, but not as good as the Shoei Glamster, which is a little bit more comfortable. It leans more towards the round side of its intermediate oval category. This helmet comes with a pinlock anti-fog lens and it's available in a number of different colors and designs. The pricing for the Arai Concept X starts at 579 euros. That's correct. So there you have it, the five best full-face retro helmets of this moment. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you now have a better idea of which helmet would be best for you. Would you like to help us out a little? Well, you can click on the thumbs up button and subscribe on our YouTube channel so that we can keep making these videos for you. That way you always have something informative to watch. Win-win situation. Of course it is. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you again next time. Cheerio. See you later, alligator. Yeah.